from Diamond Painting Nerd. Welcome to today's video. So I am doing a review and kitting down um, from this Art Dot uh, painting, which is the butterfly one. And I went with the, I think it's the advanced. Um, they only do two options at the moment for this. They do the smaller and then this is the larger one. And I loved it. Um, this was a round kit. It was 33 by 66 centimeters. I had no, I had no real issue with the drills, um, apart from I think I've got a little bit of wax or putty or something stuck in there. Um, I'll get that out. Um, so yeah, I had no real issue with the drills. Um, there were three ABs um, and they went down perfectly. And um, I just really enjoyed working on this. I love anything that's colourful. Um, and so yes, this came out beautifully. Um, you can see the ABs shining. Um, some of these yellows in the green butterflies um, and then some just on the edge of the green here and then just some of the blue around here as well. Um, no issues with the stick on the canvas, um, stuck perfectly fine and I kind of had it thrown around quite a lot so um, no drills falling off or anything like that so I was really impressed. The only critique that I would have for this is the fives and the s's um they were both red they were both next to each other um the five had a little white circle around it um but it wasn't clear enough to um not have to concentrate too hard on um finding it remembering um that that's the one that i needed to keep an eye out for um but apart from that a bit of a dog hair um apart from that the canvas was done i don't log the time it takes me to do these um i just i, I just paint when I want to paint. So um, I'm going to pop this canvas out of the way and I'm going to grab out my spare drills and we're going to get the um, we're going to get the painting kitted down and then it's officially finished right. Okay so we have box number one so I've got three boxes of spare drills and I keep my I keep my round and my, uh, my square in um, just behind a card together. It saves having duplicate cards in multiple boxes and yeah so there we are um let's see if i can do this in a sensible way so 166 um let's just grab my little bone folder tool so 166 is oh i don't have any of these so i will also grab my log book and let's go to the spare drill section and let's give this a little tick so 166, I have these now in the round. So these are these are acrylic drills. Um, wow, well, I ran out of storage. There are my phones. So I'm not sure what I was saying, but um, yeah, this was um, some of the drills. I had very few left over. I don't know if you actually saw that in the previous clip. Um, so like these, there wasn't a great deal left over. Now this is going to be a test to see how these art dot stickers come off of the pots beautifully. Um, I think because these are um, the coated stickers, they're much easier to peel off um, and dispose of. So these are not going to be in DMC order. I'm just having a look across. Um, I think the numbers all are and then it kind of changes a little bit as I go on. So I'll have to um, just jig it as I go along. So 208 in the round, which is a lavender, very dark. I have some of those already. So let's pop these in here. And pop those in there. And let's get that label off the pot. Oops, I think with any labels, just be just be mindful not to peel it back too quickly because I just did that and left a little bit of residue on, but that's just wiped off. Uh, 209, got some of these. It looks like I've got a mixed bag in this one. I've obviously not realised that I've got two different colours when I've popped the drills in, but it's okay. So that one there, literally I had, I think, like 10 drills left. So it's just odd where some of them you get quite a few left over um, and other ones you get very few. Oops. 
There we go, let's peel it off nice and slowly and then that will remove the sticker without it breaking. There's a little bit of goo on that one, so I don't know why there is on some and not on others. Now this is an AB, this is a 307 AB. Now I'm not gonna have a bag. I'm not gonna have a bag for this yet, so let me grab some bags. Okay, I purchased these from Timu um a while ago and i bought these for um this exact purpose so anything that's an ab i i'm going to stick her up with a little heart sticker so i know that i can distinguish between um the ab's and the non-ab's now there are two of um there's i think there's two sheets of each in there so i can use one for the round and one for the square so what i'll do is i'll pop that behind the round drills and i'm going to make a note somewhere Ooh, if i can get a pen i'm going to make a note and a scrap of paper just to say just to say I've got 307 um, in a round AB. Um, so that's something that I need to do in my logbook, um, add that in. Okay, moving on. Then we have the next one. Oh, I need to get the label off of this. Nice, slow peel. There we are, that's come off lovely. Then we have 321, which is a red. And uh, that's enough of a colour match for me. So I'm not massively fussy um, if they don't match perfectly. If they're close enough, then I'll just chuck them in the same bag. Um, and I keep my spares for doing um, custom projects. And I have had to dig into my spares as well in a painting where I'd actually run out of drills. So it is quite handy to keep the spares. 433. That is brown medium. And I don't have any of those either. So let's grab my look. I found this on the web. Oh, my watch always does that. I can't be the only one. Um, so 433 in the round. So I'll give that a little tick to say I have some of those now. It's always handy when you don't have the colour because then you're not worried about colour matching. So there's not, not many of those left either, but um, enough to keep hold of. So if I need them in a, um, a conversion painting, then I have some there to get me started. Okay, 434, four, which is the next one. And that's brown light and again i don't have those so i'm going to give that a little tick in my spares i'll pop those in there again just a few left but enough to keep hold of okay let's get that label off oh i didn't do that very well I'll give these a wipe over with the um, stick remover anyway, just to make sure if, there's, if there is, you know, any slight residue that it does come off. Okay, then we've got four, four, five. So we're coming down the front here. Looks like we have, oh, random. Looks like we have several bags for four, four, five. Oh, I see. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. So these need to go into this bag. It looks like I've put square drills into my round bag. So I need to move those over into there. I obviously got a little bit confused. Okay, so it looks like I've got some 445 in resin, but um, these are acrylic. So I don't know whether I'm going to keep um, my resin and my acrylic drills separate. Um, I'm just trialing it. Um, I split them when I did, um, I think it was a um, Diamond Dots kit. So the leftover drills that I had from that, I just kept them in separate bags. 
um, and I'll decide what I want to do um, about keeping those drills separate or not. Um, four, four, five. I have I got that ticked already. Four. Yeah, I've got it ticked. So I've got some in resin, so I think that's why I ticked it already. Okay, and then we've got four, seven, two. Four, seven, two. That is avocado green ultralight. I don't have any of these. Oh, okay. These are A, B as well. So, four, seven, two sticker. A little heart one. I'm going to pop that on the bag. And I'm just going to store the A, Bs in um, this box for now. And then um, I, I will move and I'll have a separate AB box um, once I have built up my AB spares. I don't have that many, so I'm just going to chuck them in this box for now. And then I need that little bit of paper just to note down that this was 472 in round. Okay. So that's those all done. And then this is where it kind of moves um all the drills kind of then got shifted around so we've got 500 550 i'm just going to check for any of the fives um nope but we've got 666 this goes up to 741 so 740 741 um 906 906 701 8208893831472 that's the next box okay so we can do these ones so this is 550 which already has a chunky chunky bag so i'm grab my overs okay i don't have a huge bag of um a huge box of overs i just have these ones in here massive bag of the 865 there have i got a bag of 550 already yeah so i think what i'm going to do actually i'm going to bring these bags out because these are bigger um and i'm going to move these over because these are better quality as well these are slightly thicker and the ones that i've got those overs in at the moment are just so flimsy so I'll move those over and then we'll get rid of that bag there we are and then I'm going to put this whole pot of 550 in that overs bag. And then I need to label it. So um, do I have any? I've got some labels out somewhere, I think. What do I do? Oh, here they are. Here we go. So let's just pop that in there for the minute. So this was 550. Five, I'll pop that on the bag and then I'll just chuck that back into my overs and move that out of the way. Let's move those out of the way. And let's get the sticker off. Oops. There we are. So that's one back in. Then we've got, oh, 500. I skipped one. So we have 500 empty bag. So again, I'm just going to go to my logbook and tick say that i've now got 500 in the rounds that is that one there we go nice amount left of those and then that one is done i'm peeled up nicely and then we have uh the sixes so six 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 there it is. I know I've got some of these. Do, 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 do. Just make sure the colours there or thereabouts. Let me know. Do you enjoy kitting down? I was um, I was scrolling Facebook um, today, and there was a comment on the Diamond Art Club web um, Facebook group that someone had said that they um, they hate kitting down. Um, and they couldn't really see any reason to kind of keep hold of their drills. And I'm just like, I mean, I, I was in that position when I first started. I'm like, no, nah, I'm not going to keep them. But actually now, um, I suppose it depends on what you want to do with them. If you're not interested in 
um if you're not interested in doing conversions or anything like that then you know you have to consider the storage space to be able to keep them and whether it's worth it i suppose if you keep your spare drills then you might you might not have enough um as much space for um for as many paintings so you know i suppose you've got to consider that but yeah i mean I, i'm keeping mine and have so many projects um that i want to do with them so i just need to just need to find the time really but um i have got um i have got plans to show you um the how to do a conversion onto the um the canvases that you can buy from uh, timu but you can get them from you might be able to get them from other places as well but um there is a video um that i need to film i've prepped some of it um so i've got the photo converted and everything like that i just need to i need to film it but time permitting so 7 40 so let me know do you keep your spare drills um, do you enjoy the process of kitting down? To me, I just love getting the drills, you know, the leftover drills out of the case because once it's kitted down, then, um, you know, you can get up and start on another another project. I think for me at the moment, because most of my storage is Art Dot um, and I'm using <laughs> most of my storage for one project or another, um, then, yeah, I'm... I don't have they're close enough I, I, I'm not doing another bag um that yeah for me to um free up free up some space um I need to get some paintings finished so I will do now this one is finished and then I've got my rose one to work on next. Okay, so that is box number one, all done. Then we have box number two. So this is eight, uh, 7422996. Now seven, where are you 742? I know you were in here somewhere. Seven, four. Oh no, 742 must be in that box. <gasps> Hang on, I'm confused. Oh, don't. It's been a long day. There's 742. I thought I'd just put it into the wrong box. Right, seven. Um, and then we have any more sevens. And we've got a 797. Um, 814. 815. We've got nines. We've got 907. We've got 892. Um, nine oh six, nine three nine, nine nine six. We've got an eight twenty, so that's gonna ooh, squeeze in there. Uh, and then we've got nine four seven just there. Eight nine one. That goes in there as well. And then the rest of three eights, which are in another box. So seven four two is my first one so that's going to be the very front one in here tangerine light so i have some of these already whoa i nearly tipped those everywhere but there was only a few only a few left over in that one come on. there we go so that one can go back in that's another one done oh one thing that i did do to because i've got two kits uh, kitted up in my 120 pot um, art dot case is I popped the sticker um, from the um, canvas from the painting what well, was from the sticker sheet um, just to signify which um, painting the drills belong to so I can peel that off as well then we've got 797 um, royal blue I've got a nice amount of these already. Um, I've had a really good colour match so far on these, so um, I haven't really needed... Yeah, that's a perfect match in there. I haven't needed to add any more bags, which is a good thing because that just bulks out the boxes. So, yeah, that's why I try not to be too picky about, you know, where there's a you know, semi-shade off. Um, I just chuck them all in. 
Okay, 797, that's that one done. Um, right, then we've got 814. We're coming down here for this one. 814. That is Garnet Dark. Again, another one that I already have. And empty those in. And that is that one done. I'm looking forward to um, the new paintings that Art Dot will be coming out with. Um, I don't know when or what they are, but I know that they are releasing some new ones. So that should be that should be exciting. So we've got 815, which is another new one. Um, so this is this is my logbook that I've got it in. Um, this is available. I do say this whenever I show it, but this is available to uh, purchase as a download on um, Etsy for a very reasonable price. Um, and then you can bind it either with um, the disc rings or you can just do book rings, whatever, however you want to bind it. So 815. Uh, so the logbook includes the um, the drill uh, the drill spares as well, so you can track what spares you've got. Uh, it has space for round and square, and it also has some blanks at the end, so you can then add your own on, for instance, for ABs. So, yes. So, 8.20. Oh, didn't mean to get those. Ah, oh, okay, so we've got two. Although, whenever you look at it, I don't know, it's definitely darker. That's that colour. Okay, so those are going to go in that. There we are. Oh, we've got a rogue green one in there and he's going to stay in there. Having a little party with his blue friends. Okay. Then we have... Oh, I just messed that up. There we go. Then we have oops, Skittles 891 in here, Carnation Dark. I want to say that's dark for a carnation. I'd like to meet the person who named the DMC colours. I have many questions for them. Okay, right, that's that one. Then we've got 892, which is its neighbour, Carnation Medium. Again, looks like I've got a couple of shades in here, but again, I'm not I'm not fussed. Um, I'm not too worried. And to be fair, when I've just put those in, you can barely notice the other ones that were a slightly different shade. It's okay. I might have to go through my box and just take some... Uh, some of the bulky well take some of the drills out of the bulky bags because um, it kind of then pushes um, it gives me less room so like this one here 823 which is we know a very popular color it's just that bag is just chocker so I'm going to take some out put them in my spares and then um, that will free up my box um, a little bit in that row because actually you've got 820 and 823 in that row and 818 which are all very bulky bags um, and it's kind of pushing on pushing on the other ones right 895 that is the front oh they're trying to escape into the next row um 895 so that one is hunter green very dark and we don't have that one so eight nine five we'll give that a little tick in the round column to say we now have some of these how many is it now three or four so far new ones that's fun right eight nine five in you go and we'll get the label off as we go and if you can hear noises in the background hubby is playing his xbox so he is trying to be quiet 906 parrot green close enough for me again i quite like when i quite like getting new colors 
but equally I like getting the same colours because it means that I don't have, um, it means I'm building that colour up. So I'll get that label off there. And then we've got 907. And that is parrot green light. Did I not just do that one? Oh no, that was parrot green medium. So this is parrot green light. And I don't have huge bags for my spares. Um, I think these are five by seven centimeters um, and it's big enough for me. I don't want to be keeping masses of spare drills. Um, if I need some for a custom project, um, then I shall either purchase or I shall um, see if a friend has some. Um, so G939, that is already going to be a chocker in this bag. Let's see, I might already have a bag. I think I do. Um, 823. Um, no, do I not already have? Yes, I do. 939, there we go. So what I'm going to do is get one of these bigger bags and one of the, these are thicker as well. So these will be much nice, much nicer to um, use. That's 823, I don't want those. So I'm going to transfer, transfer my 939 over from these horrible ones. These really thin, flimsy ones that definitely cause static. And then I'm gonna dump those in there too, 939. So yeah, if anybody needs any um, any spare drills, then I can go, first of all, go to my, um, go to my log book and actually see if I have that color. Um, and then before I offer them out, I will check um, I'll check how many I've got. I didn't peel that one off very well, did I? Um, I'll check how many I've got because what I don't want to do is go giving away necessarily my spares if I need them for a conversion project. So I will check before. And then hopefully I'll have them in um, my overs and start to start to get through those with conversion projects. So then we have 947 Burnt Orange. Um, it's weird because there's cues in this kit and I don't see many cues in, in kits at all. So, and again, noises in the background. You can hear the doggo wandering around. So apologies if um, that is distracting. She is distracting, that's the problem. So this is 995, one of my favourite colours, electric blue. Um, it, This bag is going to be getting... Yeah, it's not too full at the moment, so I'm going to leave those in there. But um, as that gets more added in, then I shall um, take them out and start making a spares bag. Uh, I'm sorry, an overs bag for them. So that is 995. And then the last one for this box is 996, and that's electric blue medium. Again, really nice colour match. So I love it when that happens. So I'll pop 996 in there. You can see that I've had a slightly different colour in there at some stage as well, but that's okay. So 996 is done, and then we will swap over to... The final box i'll go and grab a drink and i'll be right back as well okay on to the final uh six pots so we have three seven three seven six one that one now there is a difference in the color on that which i'm not happy with that is going to have to have a separate bag that's me saying really good color matches so far but that is two different that's too, yeah, that's more like a baby blue rather than a sky blue. So let's get my little, my little labels and my pen, a pen. Three, seven, six, one. And I'll pop that in as an extra bag. Let's 
move my drills in and then get rid of that label there we are that's another pop done i did um just off camera i just pop my little ab sticker on ready for when i get there so 3834 grape dark so 3834 pop those in good color match there and those can go back in the box and then yeah so my next my next assignment is to get the rose one finished um, because this butterfly painting and the rose one are occupy, occupying the 120 pop case so I've got one uh, painting in each row this one is really stuck down obviously this one had some extra adhesive on it for some unless it might have just been there might have been some residual adhesive still on the pot maybe underneath when I put the sticker on but I'll pop some I'll pop some cleaner on it to get it get it off anyway so then we have three eight three seven oh what we got going on here we've got a couple of bags here so it's that one there I think yeah that one's a lighter yeah that one's lighter it's this one I kind of draw the line at any more than two bags mm, maybe three yeah it's a good match so pop those back in this is all my 3000s, so yeah, this is getting pretty full as well. So at some stage, I am going to have to take some of the chunky, take some of the drills out of the chunky bags, um, just to make it a little easier. 3843, which is the next one up. Electric blue. Quite a bit of this one left, so we'll pop those in. There we are. Oops. Yep, good colour match there. Happy with that. And then we'll get rid of the label. That come off nice and cleanly, that one. Then we've got the 3846. And I'll just make a note. 3846 in the round. And then I'll add that onto my logbook to... Uh, say that I've got some of those in ABs. Pop those in. Quite a few of those left as well. Oh, I didn't move my little thing on. 3846. So that's the round. And then I put the round ABs in. And then the. Oh, goodness me. I'll say the final one before I just butchered that sticker. Yeah, all the others came off fairly nicely, um, but a couple of them, and I'm just wondering whether it's because I haven't, I didn't fully take the adhesive off underneath before I added the new labels. Then we have three eight, uh, three eight five two. So oh, I've gone a little too far. Three eight five two straw, very dark. Again, good colour match there. So pop those in there. And then that is my, that's all my drills put away for this kit. So I'll get rid of the, I'll get rid of the label for this. And then that gives me a tray of pots left. I will leave that out and I'll do a, a clean on it before I put it back in the case. Um, and then all I want to do now is just go to my, oh, that might be the custom that I'm talking about with the custom canvas. Um, go to my whips and update my logbook with my my finished project so i need to take a photograph of the finished project um i don't have the started date that's on my phone which i'm filming with so i will have to go back and fill that in but finished on the 25th of the 8th 2023 and then um 
I have my um, completed on 25th of the 5th. 2023 so i have it on the front and the back so this is just a quick reference to see the the date that i started and finished and then all of the details are on the back as well um the total colors um was 35 um i haven't got the purchase and date received because those are on my phone as well so i fill those in uh, it wasn't a PR package. The kitted up will be on my phone as well. Did, um, was it completed for an event? No, it wasn't. Um, and then I've kept, and then I don't have any notes. So, because that is now complete, that now moves out of my whips. And that goes into completed, and that goes into the back of my completed section. Um, and... Then that one, it will get a sticker, it will get numbered up, um, but I haven't numbered it yet because where have I got to? 11, 14, 16, 18. I think because I wasn't sure on the order of these. So once I figure these out, I just need to do a general update in my logbook. Then I'll add the number sticker um, to say what number this was. Um, I need the finished photo any oh that's what I need the finished photo because I add it onto that so you can see here I've got some where I haven't printed the photos of the finished project so once I go and do an update and get the photos printed I put that in the wrong place because I'm stupid um yeah once I've printed those photos of the completed projects then I just add a little number to say uh what number project it was that i've completed um and yeah so that's moved over now and then when i do the update i'll um, get the photo printed and be ready to go so that is everything now um all kitted down um and complete for that painting and as i said next up will be the rose painting get that complete um and then it's concentrating on um the i've got coup deals um, custom one that I'm doing because I want to be honest and come and show you the actual result and I think you'll be I was I'm surprised um, with how it's looking so far and I think you'll be surprised so I want to come on and do do that justice and actually share it once it's completed and not just base it on the unboxing which wasn't a great experience um so yeah that's what i've got on the agenda and then an event coming up um fam along uk in september um which i have put a kitting up video for today actually so that is the something in the air video and we're all done so thanks very much for joining me for today's little uh kitting down hope you've enjoyed it as always and um, please do give the video a thumbs up subscribe if you're new hit that bell notification so you're aware of when i next upload a video and drop me any comments in that comment section down below and i'll come back to each and every one of you i promise um and i will see you again in the next video bye guys